Hello everyone! Today I want to talk to you about something that keeps coming into my mind, which is the topic of men and how important your role is in this life. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel um, or if you're watching through Twitter, I would love it if you would follow me there. So I have a couple of topics actually, not just the topic of men, but also about a Bible study that I am participating in um, at my local church and it has to do with the armor of God so I want to talk a little bit about that topic as well at the end of the video but um, I, I just keep thinking about this topic and I think it's something that I should discuss here um, but as an introduction to that topic, I did want to talk about, like, just, you know, get a little foundation first um, before we start talking about, you know, the Im important calling God has given to men. And before you are someone that is repulsed by that kind of language, or you're assuming that I'm going to be talking about certain things that you've been taught about men versus women like hang in there you know it's most likely not what you're expecting me to say necessarily uh, so i do want to start this off by saying that however you were born however you came into this world as whatever your sex is that is how god blessed you and that is what god called you to be that is what you submit to and as parents we must raise our children um, to embrace that to submit to that and it's kind of crazy to talk this way but that's just the times and the culture that we're living in it's so important to actually say the quiet part out loud these days because there's a great movement of of people actually being very aggressive in teaching the opposite that you know i don't want to go into that whole discussion i've actually covered that topic in another video you could check out my interview with um uh the author of holy sexuality christopher i think yuan check that out we discuss we go into detail about all the topics having to do with you know how people say gender and sex are different things and whatnot and how a christian responds to that what does a christian uh, worldview teach about that but in this video i just want to just here here's the christian worldview and this is where we're at we're not going to be going off on tangents related to those other topics those other teachings those other worldviews so however you are born that's how we we are our children's teachers and we teach them you know this is what you are and this is what god teaches you know this is what biology also um tells us just common sense things and it's i love i love that god gave me a boy and a girl or i should say a girl and a boy because my girl was born first and it's something that i know god heard my heart because when i was uh before even i was pregnant i out of respect for god i always like i never necessarily was rooting for one sex over another i was content leaving it up to God, whatever he wanted, you know, my life, my parenthood life to look like, I was content with him giving me whatever. And I almost felt like it would be like a betrayal to my unborn children or when I was pregnant, you know, for me to be desiring something that they were not going to be, you know? So, um, but I do remember just in my heart at one point, I did remember like thinking to myself i would love to i could see um a calling from god to how to raise um 
a girl, how to raise her into a godly woman. And then I can also see how a, a, a calling to raise a boy and, and raise him into a godly man and how you can impact the world by raising a, you know, a, a moral man or a moral woman. And I just remember thinking, you know, I, I can't decide which one I would, I would like to necessarily like, you know, raise. And I think I, I just thought to myself, I would actually like both, you know, I would, I would love to be able to raise a, a boy and a girl. I didn't ask God for that, but God just granted that to me um, out of his goodness he gave me a girl to raise <laughs> he gave me both callings raise a girl and raise a boy and that's my experience as a mother of two and so I've been privileged in being able to observe how um, there are different things that you have to make the other aware of more necessarily than the other and yet you know like how one of their strengths will impact the other and how you navigate dealing with that strength so it makes sense it all will come together <laughs> i'm just trying to figure out like how i want to in what order i want to discuss it um so all that to say is that there is a calling for parents to, by God for us to raise our children in the awareness of the sex that God um, brought them into this world and to disciple them into that, um, into, into the knowledge of what that means for them and what their particular strengths will be, what their particular weaknesses will be and how God wants them and has taught us how to navigate those things and in particular I want to talk about the calling that men have in this life um, moving on to just if you're a man you know I want this video to be very encouraging to you and uh, maybe even convicting because there is a calling for men that is unique and unlike anything else on this planet. There are many different views in this world about what a man is and um, even what their calling is here in this life and, and how they use their strength and all of this and how they interact with women, things like that. So many different religions and, and I'm convinced that Christianity is true first of all and that it is better than any other worldview any other religion out there it is better for men themselves and it is better infinitely better for women the the christian worldview what it says teaches about men that is if men live that out you know empowered by the holy spirit um that is the best world possible for women and for children especially both of those groups but also for men as well for their own spiritual walk and for the physical um, protection and and all kinds of things i just think it's the most egalitarian Uh, design that we have here on this earth the treatment of God how he designed men to be um, in comparison to to women it's clear right the the first thing that comes to mind is God made you with physical advantages over women you get to have these 
these hormones that are different than women. Uh, God did not design your body in order for you to carry a child. You know, God created you to to um, respond quickly to threats and to even be intimidating um, in the sense of just in general I think uh, women and men even men are intimidated more so by a man because of his physique rather than that of a woman I think that's pretty common sense right and that is important because God created this world uh, not necessarily for man to choose to sin, but rather with the capacity to choose to to do good, to obey God. And um, switching angles here because my arm is getting tired. Um, he chose to create this world with the possibilities, knowing full well that the possibilities were there and... I believe he knew that man was going to choose to sin, to rebel against him. And so, knowing all of this, God um, God allows men to fight evil, to join him and in the in the in promoting goodness uh, in the world, as we see throughout the Bible, God calling men to battle. And it's not to say that God can't or didn't use women. Clearly he did to defeat, um, even Kings in the, in the, a King in particular that comes to mind, a woman was the one that actually ended his life. Uh, but, um, that's another topic. Um, also calling for for women how how we are to use our influence you know our beauty um our power um our strengths and how that uh impacts the world as well that's another video this video is 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 discussing more of how men have the advantage physically and that's what we see throughout history why men have been rulers over women right if if not for men standing um behind the women that have ruled for example that god has used uh, uh even in in the story of deborah in the bible we have a strong man a, a, a military leader um that is God is using alongside of his his judge Deborah and so God uses the strength of men even when he's going to use the leadership of women and it, it is because of those men and their strength and their power um, that that uh, immoral men don't reign pretty much it, it is because of, of strong men that support women that we are able to live in an egalitarian world otherwise sure we would be living in the times of you know ancient times where it really does come down to brute strength and maybe like even just a lack of morals honestly um that's how some of the empires or whatever have been uh have spread in in world history a lack of a lack of moral lack of compassion and, and these godlike characteristics but uh it is because of men in in the world that i live in in the united states of america that That women have it good <laughs> that a wife is treated with respect it is because of the laws that we have implemented uh, and it's not to say that 
it is just because of men because women have been very influential in in influencing these things these laws and and, and so forth but it is it is good men that make it possible for for us women to have a good life and and not just because of good men but ultimately it is because of god it is god's commandments it is god's values it is god's teaching about what a man is and it is the way god designed men as well he didn't make them brutes like animals uh, just going based off of their instincts but god made them <laughs> in his image also as he made women but he he placed the design that he he created them and just the even like the egalitarian design that god god created when he brought you know eve into the picture how the union of a man and a woman to but the the instrument being ultimately the woman to bring forth the next generation one of them involving the the men then the future generation of men and how how close of a, a bond that little baby boy has with his mother um, it's 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 like a heart connection it's the way that god created families and and little boys grow up with their their sisters and their aunts and their the grandmothers and it's like this this love right there there should be this love and we are all connected yes and you know women too we, we're not haters of men you know we we are lovers of our fathers our uncles our grandfathers we love we we have we're all connected thankfully through this love that god has designed how he designed families and and all of that so men that live their lives consistent to the christian worldview and that includes even if you are an atheist for example and yet you live as though you believe the christian worldview because you believe in the structure of family and you know all of that originates with you know how how God like without Christianity it, it doesn't make sense that you would live like this you know that that you would want a family that you would love your family it would just be you know I, that's a different conversation but uh, we get to enjoy as women as a wife I get to enjoy living with one of those one of those men yes that are that have this special unique calling power um they're greater in strength and yet i get to live safely with one of them <laughs> with with my husband that i love like no other man on this earth i get to live with him and trust and have a good life because the christian worldview does not um lower demean women a wife uh, does not teach you know that it's okay to beat a wife that it's okay to be verbally abusive and all and all of these terrible things um the christian worldview makes it safe and, and good for me to enjoy my marriage um and it, it there is safety as a result of that christian worldview because even before we are united we are taught to abstain from uh, participating in the act that brings forth other um, other you start a family if you're not following you know the, the design that God has um, commanded us and if you um, unfortunately um, didn't wait to have children into in, 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 in marry only one person this is not to shame you because there's god's grace and there's the best you know scenario for you that god can walk with you through that but all that to we do have to grant that god's 
ways are what's best because there is safety when we obey God and we wait and and we only have relations with our we're within the protection of marriage um there is safety there there is only one man only one woman and that that um you know I I want to comment on how that protects men women financially uh, emotionally you know sexually like physically you know there's no spread of diseases and whatnot but but the the uh i wish i it's there's so many tangents there's so many good things about god's design that it makes it impossible for me to just stay on one one topic um but there's there's uh there's protection in god's worldview in that uh, there's only one husband, one woman, and that you have like the the strengths of the unique abilities of both. You navigate through those um, with Christ, with the help of the Holy Spirit. So, as a man, you have the advantage of your strength, and yet if not if you're not living your life with christ then the temptation is to use your strength immorally and to intimidate the person you're supposed to you're called to protect and to ex exude um is that the right word your strength is supposed to be comfort to your family you know it's supposed to feel like I'm safe because of this strong man, you know, and, and instead, if you lack control in, in, in self-control in your anger, um, your anger is, you're supposed to use your anger to fight evil, but, uh, if you use your, your anger to, and you target the people in your life, then all of a sudden that, that strength is a scary thing in your family and in this world and that's where all the men you know that um for whatever reason uh there are many different reasons why it could be this way they they fall into crimes they not fall in they make those choices um they're using their strength the wrong way you know all the wars that didn't have to bring so much death you know into this world and it's you're using strength recklessly and so god calls men to use their strength the way he uses his strength um and it's not to say women don't have strength too but it's another video um men use their greater strength their unique strength um, to do the will of God in this world and that's why I'm so grateful for for example police officers um, men that give their life you know they, they feel a calling to serve their country and they're doing the things that thank God we don't have to do um, and it's not to say that women don't do the same thing. Again, it's just the video, right? Um, they're using their greater strength to bring peace into this world, to keep evil from the, you know, our entering our country. And I just want to say I'm very grateful for all the men who use their strength for good whether it's you are being a father, an uncle, a grandfather, um, like I said, you're a, a firefighter, a, a police officer, a teacher, wherever you're at, even just in the presence of like a crowd, if you are submitting to God's teaching about what he teaches you how to live in your body, you are an asset you are called 
in this world, you are making the world a better place just by who you are choosing to be. Because it, you are a part of a bigger like puzzle, right? And as many men live this way, the world is a better place. To not give in to the temptation of, for example, like pornography, do not give in to the temptation of just lashing out in anger. You know, live your life in fear of God and recognize every day you impact the world. You are called to bring order into this world as far as like if you are degrading women by the things that you are watching um, you're not being one of the good guys even if like the excuse is you're not physically doing anything but still it's every man is like a soldier you know here on earth and it's like we lose we lose a good man when you engage in things that are not for the betterment of our society. So just by being you, the world is a better place, especially because you have the greater strength. I take comfort in knowing just that there are so many brave men all around us and not just bravery, but moral, moral brave men. If there was a immoral, cowardly man or woman that was going to threaten you know the safety of especially women children i take comfort in knowing there are moral strong brave men all around me that would stand up for the weaker and that's that's a very special calling that you have um and don't don't take it for little like um, you know, men have certain weaknesses as well. Sometimes men don't cope too well with, you know, certain challenges and they might want to give up. Um, don't feel like you're a soldier by yourself. Um, and I want to transition to the other, the last topic. This is what my, my book is about, my Bible study, um, The Armor of God, the author Priscilla Shire. Through prayer, God has given us the armor of God, his armor, and we can activate that armor. Um, I, I will be like sharing the things that I'm learning, but we are, we are in a battle, whether we think we're going to engage or not whether we think we are or not in a battle we are there's it's not just what we see but it, there's a spiritual component there's a spiritual war and something that i'm learning is that sometimes we target people versus our true enemy which which is satan and whatever you know whoever's fighting alongside of him um uh, including the people that end up just being puppets for him, for his uh, battle attacks here on earth. And you don't have to feel that you're fighting alone on your own strength, because we're not, and we're not supposed to. That's not God's design, and that's not the example we see in the Bible either. His people went into battle with him leading them. And that's us too here on this earth. We are in going to battle, but we are being led by him. We have the Holy Spirit living inside of us. We have the armor of God that most of us are not activating. We're not using it and we need it desperately. And I just want to encourage you um, that sometimes it may feel like we are very broken, that we are going to just crack one day we can't handle um, the pain or the emotions we can't handle certain pressures in this life stress traumas but when we have christ as our foundation we're not gonna fall because he's gonna catch us he's he's right there we may go through whatever we're gonna go through 
um, but he's, he's going to be our strength. And we can trust that he's not going anywhere. So I, I just want to leave you with that encouragement. Um, remember not to use your strength to just... Don't use your strength and, and forget that your true enemy is invisible. That's what I'm learning in the book. The enemy is invisible. And sometimes we'll target people. We want to persuade people. We want to use our strength. We want to use our words. We want to use you know, our physical strength. But, but there's, there's a time and a way. And we need to make sure that we are following God. He is leading us. He's the wise one. He's the all-knowing one. He'll, he'll lead us in victory. Whatever our situation is. Alright guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will talk to you on the next video.